morning everybody welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67 this is Gina um, today we're going to be working with those leftover book pages again um, and I've got an idea on making some altered paper clips with it because I was getting low on what was the large paper clips the other day well I didn't pay attention. I ended up ordering the Jumbo, which are the 77 millimeter. I don't know what they would be in the U.S. I guess I could measure it, couldn't I? Um, gosh, they're, they're just almost three inches, so they're really big. And I thought, oh no, what am I going to do with these? But in the end, I thought, well, heck, I'll just try to alter them. And so that's what I've done here. And I actually think this is going to look really good. Uh, let me see if I can get... So this being a journal page, I mean, it is bigger, obviously, than the large ones, but it's not so big that I don't think it would work. And I actually think it's going to be really cool because those are pretty sturdy, so you could you could clip in quite a bit. So let's just get started, guys. Um, what I have got... Let me grab here. Are just let me set that to the side. I've just got some book page. I've got some more of the Edith Holden. Don't worry if you don't have that. That's not a problem because I know that's not easy to get for people. I've got some of the packing paper that you get in your uh, orders that come with Amazon or UPS, and then I've got some um, baking paper. So we're just going to play around and make this paper clip. So the first thing is I wanted this to be the base. So that's ended up being like two and three quarters. But this doesn't, you don't have to have the size um, paper clip just adapted to the size that you're working on. It's just another way for us to use up book pages um, from our stash. So I've got, I know that's going to be the base, and just when you're making these, bear in mind you're going to need an, enough excess uh, paper so that you can fold that over because I always stitch them on the machine, as you can see here. It just makes it really easy. Now, if you're not sewing it, you're still going to need that so that you can glue that down. Um, so just make sure that you get the length, but add maybe an extra inch, half of an inch. Now let's just see. Yeah, you'd want to add, I'd say on this size, I'd go ahead and add an extra inch because it's it'll reinforce it anyways. So I'm just going to tear. And I do want to apologize for yesterday's um, video. I did not realize the camera was too close and that's where the problem came in so I'm sorry about that I've had several people tell me I was aware of it after I had published the video but at that point guys um, I just didn't have time to go back and redo it so I am sorry for that I know it's very frustrating for you to have to watch videos like that so sorry I will definitely um, pay much closer attention in future. Okay, so that's still a little bit too big, so let me just tear that down a bit. Now, you don't have to have this tearing ruler, but if you do want this, it is in the description box below. Um, I have an uh, um, Amazon affiliate link, and um, you can get these um, rulers off of Amazon, because I've had a lot of people interested in those as well. And let me just clarify again over the affiliate links. Um, I do get a very small percentage um, commission from that, but it's at no extra charge to you. But I just want to make sure everybody understands that because they're really um, cracking down on that. So, okay, so we've got that. I'm just going to put a little bit of this in behind. Just, I don't know, I just, just because I like a lot of um, texture. So I want it to just be slightly larger than that. You are not going to really see much of it, but I'll know it's there. So, Okay, 
Okay, so let's see. So we've got that. Um, what I'm going to do is, now if you're not going to sew this, you're going to want to use your good glue. But because I know this is going to the machine, I tend to just take a little bit of my glue stick and just, all I'm trying to do is just kind of tack it into place. So again, if you don't have a sewing machine, um, go ahead and use, you know, your glue around all the edges. Now I knew that this was the way I wanted to lay it out. If if you're playing around with it, obviously don't glue it down yet. <laughs> so, okay, so that there, and then this is a very, very pretty uh, book page. Now, as I said, if you don't have really pretty book pages to work with, just pull from your stash. Um, maybe you've got a really pretty image out of a magazine that you could cut out and use. Let me just show you an example. This is... Let's see, I've tucked it back in here. One second, guys. I found this image in a, um, a gardening magazine. And I just ripped it out um, because it was something I wanted to try to practice uh, painting. And I haven't done it well enough to share with you guys. <laughs> but this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. If you see something like that, that would absolutely be gorgeous. I'm not going to tear this one because I'm still living in hope that I might actually be able to paint that one day. <laughs> so I won't use that. Um, but that's just to give you an, an idea. And then if the other thing is if you have access to a printer and you print off digitals, then there you go. You've got another, um, another way of getting something um, pretty that you could put in the background. So I just want a little bit of the word, the words showing here. I just like that the font on the Edith Holden is so pretty. Very, very fortunate that we can get our hands on these because I know I've sold a few of these books going to the U.S., but I had to quit doing it, guys, because I wasn't. It wasn't worth it to me. Um, what I was having to pay in shipping, I wasn't making anything. Uh, it was just really doing it to help a few um, crafters out who couldn't source them anywhere, but. We're, we're blessed that we can still get them, but they are getting more and more difficult, you know, as, as junk journaling is gaining popularity, it's getting more and more difficult to source these things. So I really like the way that looks. So I'm just going to hold that. <coughs> I'm not going to bother with gluing it, guys. So I'm going to take this over and run it through the machine, and then I'll show you a close-up. Um, of how that looks, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is how it looks now that it's been stitched. And as I said, don't worry if you don't have a sewing machine; you don't have to um, to do that. You can just glue it down, and then let's come in, and you're going to want to fold that down, and again. I need to run a stitch across there to hold that. If, you, if you're not using the machine, just glue it. But you will probably want to uh, take a bulldog clip and just hold it because you know, you've know got you're going to want to make sure that it adheres really well. But I'm just going to run it through the machine. So I'll be right Okay, guys. Let me bring the camera in slightly. Okay, so now you can see and that's going to hold that in place really well. So now the next thing is I want an embellishment up here because that's very plain. Um, and I've gone ahead and I picked a, a little bit of burlap. And you can see the tiniest piece of lace because we've all got that drawer. Or if you don't, you should have a drawer where you put all your little bits and pieces because you can do snippet rolls and then little projects like this. 
and look at I I couldn't believe I found that it's a really soft yellow button and I'm going to stitch that right in there and then I'm going to put this plant a flower in amongst that but let me just get that stitched really quickly and I'll try to do this so you guys can see it because that burlap you can see it's it's coming apart but that's that's what I want and I just want to leave enough room that I can put the little phrase under there now these these come from <clears throat> My porch prints, sorry, hang on, I'm all tangled up now. Um, these are her garden words. So if you are interested in these, I'll put a link to these in the description box. Because I love those, aren't they so sweet? And she does all kinds of uh, words, you know, in, in the shop. But I love these because particularly with the garden um, theme. So let me just make sure you guys... I mean, not that you need to see me sewing. I could actually just do this off camera because it's a bit boring, but very quickly I'll, t I'll try to do this quick. Oh, there I go. Stuck myself first thing. Yay! <laughs> you could just glue this, but I really like the buttons to be sewn. I, I really don't like to see um, glued on buttons. They, they deserve a bit more respect than that, I think. I love my buttons. I got so many, and you know, every time I go to pull one, I look at it and I think, oh, it's such a unique one. Let me save that. So now, I mean, honestly, I'd say three quarters of my buttons, I've sit to the side for myself as if I'm going to ever get through that many, because you guys have seen, I've got, I, I wouldn't, I'd hate to even count how many buttons I've got. I'm definitely a button hoarder. And every time I go to the car boot, oh, I get so tempted. And I would probably still be buying them if it weren't for the fact that Paul now goes to the car boot with me. And I think it's, I don't think he's interested in going. I really think he's just doing it to try to keep me um, under control because I have no willpower when I get out there. I see a, another big tin of, tin of buttons, and I'm like, oh, I need those. And you, Gina, you don't. You've got them in every room in the house. So, <laughs> so it's good. It's good. We balance each other out. All right, so you can see. Isn't that sweet? And the colors, I can't believe that. I didn't think I had that shade of a blue in that flower. And if if you're curious, because I know somebody's going to ask me, those are off of eBay in the UK, so I don't know what you would search for. But they're kind of like a, um, it's not paper, but a little bit stronger than a paper flower. So they're probably really easy to source um, wherever you live. Isn't that sweet? And then I think I'll put that there. Or maybe down there. Mm, let's see. Sorry, I'm, usually I'm more decisive than this, but I guess it's because it's still kind of early here. Um, so, yeah, I'll try to get on with it, because I know you guys don't want to be sitting here while I'm hem-hawing around. So, I like that, because that's come out real rustic. But where to put that? I'm kind of thinking down there now to balance that. Yeah, that's where it's going to go. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I ran out of battery, but we were in the process of just gluing that down to finish this little project up. So there you can see a couple of um, paper clips. And as I said, don't worry about the size of the paper clip. Just adapt it to whatever you're working with. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope it's inspired you to dig out those book pages and use them up, guys. And I'll be back soon again with another project. Take care. Bye.